This is CT time. Who was in the garden? Was I mean that's why I like to call it. But I think we're talking about me, obviously. So are don't hate. Don't hate. So anyway. come and pluck you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we have a special guest in the building, like we obviously mentioned before the break. Following Best My Brains, an EP featuring a track with DMW Finest for Rizzi, El Prince is back again with another amazing tune titled Tomato, featuring one of Nigeria's music industry prolific producers, Master Craft, so you expect it's going to be a banger. The song is produced by Raymond and mixed and mastered by... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm mixed and masters by Big Mouse Beat. Um, and please welcome with me, ladies and gentlemen, the finest, El Prince. How's it going? What's going hey. on? It's going good. It has to be here. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so let's talk about your your work very quickly. Right. What inspired it? Tomato. I'm, it's, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's not about food. It's not about tomato. I'm bringing sexy back. Oh. Uh, okay. Just to, just to turn like he's in the building, okay. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> please make way, make way, make way, make way, make way. Uh -uh. Right. Okay, so I'm expecting it's not PG, 16. No, it's not. 21? That's why we could uh, censor some things and let some go. Okay. All right, so I listen to Tomato, you mm. get, and it's totally different from all your different body of works because, um, you know, yeah. you brought that raga, you brought that soul, you brought the Afro beat, you brought True. the Arab beat, you know, the whole, it was well infused. And I'm wondering, is it is it because it's Mastercrafts? Because, you know, Mastercrafts <laughs> or T. But, you know, the whole way you guys vibe together, you know, there was a synergy. Yeah. I was uh, I was working on that project mm. because I think that's what we need to listen to, you mm. know, in this particular mm. period. Yes. Yeah. Um, the thing about that song is that uh, it has a lot to do about where I'm from. Mm. I be a J boy. Mm. Okay. You know, born and brought up in a J boy. Oh yeah. There's we we love dance hall mm. down there. So and there's this thing we call pattern a pattern on the street, mm. uh, which, which means? means style na style. Mm. Okay. Anything goes. Flow is flow. Mm. Once you're keen to it, once you're able to create that atmosphere to keen. As it comes, you have, you have to let it flow because it's, right, it's like, yeah. inspiration. You don't stop it. So it's called Pattern a Pattern, and that was how the whole idea came up. You know, just had to infuse different. Masaka didn't produce the song, Raymond did. Mm. You know, he just came in and dropped a vocals on it, mm. and the magic, everything just. I mean, you know? your your background is very humble. A lot of Nigerians would dismiss that area and say that nothing good comes out of it and all of that. And I know that's not that's true. That's one of the, some of the best talent. Yeah, I know, I know that's not true, but we can all agree that it's not easy in comparison to a lot of other people. So mm -hmm. I want to know your journey. What has that been like? How did you come from that to now being able to work with people like that in the industry? How, you know what? Because I know it's not just talent. We're not going to be naive and say, um, talent mm. is just talent. Obviously, yeah. there has to be connections. Bill hustle had to be made. Yeah. So, what was that like for you? Um, like, I wouldn't say I'm new to this okay. mm. because I've been around. Uh, I got my first record deal. That was 2012. You know, mm. uh, a song called Donana produced by Del B. Mm. You know, Del B was on fire. Mm. Yeah, yeah. True that. So, and. Uh, things kind of went sideways with the management and labor, and I was a victim of that. Mm. So I had to now take some time off oh, and go to work on my craft, understand this industry about. because mm. it's, it's bigger. So many artists out there, upcoming artists, don't doesn't have a clue what they're about to face. Mm. It, it's bigger. You know, speaking about things that upcoming artists have to face, what, what would you say are some of the challenges that you personally have faced, you know, even though, you know, you, you've worked with some of the big names as at when they yeah. were, you know, the big thing. And um, up to now, they're still quite, they're still big, actually. So it's not like mm -hmm. there'll be sure, was, sure. you know, there'll be still fire. Yeah. You get me? And then for someone, for someone like you who's worked with someone like that, what would you say is the biggest challenge you would face in the industry, regardless of who you know, how you do it, you know? What, what would you say is the biggest challenge for you? Uh, not to let people feed you their fears. Hmm. Mm. You know? That one is deep. How? Just, just how, do how, how, how do you even do that, that you don't let people feed you? You have to be it? stubborn. Mm. Strong yeah. head. About your dreams. Yeah. Right. And what are you peculiar about now that you're looking at it okay, that regardless that? of what they tell me, this is what this I'm thing. going to stand on. What is that thing for you at the moment? 
the reason why I'm here, the reason why you people let me in your studio. Mm, your if music. not, I would Resilience. Your yeah. yeah. music. Your, your sound. Okay, right. so yeah. your, let's talk about that. Do you have an album coming? Uh, or like a bigger work that's something that you're working on right now who are yeah. the features in there i like to ask that question because i want to know if you yeah I, I have an album coming or else my fans are going to kill me mm -hmm. they're doing me so nice on instagram oh. like the comment everything so i know yeah. people love me so it gives me more energy to kick so nice. i'm dropping an album this year called titled green vibe green vibe why green yeah oh but i think you know bro i don't oh, know, so no. you know. <laughs> okay Okay, money, okay. money, mm -hmm. money yeah. is green. Yeah, yeah. yeah the land is green. We can work yeah. with that. Okay. <laughs> Great. You guys are so much. Okay, and so the song is what? What? What vibes? Like, okay, do give me three words that describe Green Vibe in terms of the album. I think I'll give you two. No one original. Original. Yeah. Do you want to give us like a a, a, a simple um, snippet? Snippets, very short one of one of the songs in the album. You know, something. Just give us a live performance. That you know, is okay actually... for TV because yeah. Green Vibe is scary. Oh uh, yeah. I'm here to stay, so I came here with my bucket and my toothpaste and my bed. I ain't going nowhere. No. Okay, then I, I like it when you do the, like the parts where you know the dance or stuff. Can you give us a bit of that dance or like in tomato as well? Oh, okay. Ordinary person just like you, looking for a breeze in the afternoon. See, Mother Nature is nice if you stay in tune, in tune with your roots. You will see it's true, cause one in the morning, two in the evening, she want to scatter my head, says she need her. Now that's what me call a green vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So it's a switch of vibes. All right, yeah. yeah. So you switch it up. You yeah. switch it up. Yeah. Now, what about is features? that are you? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. Features. Are you working with anybody else? You have really good lineups already, but let me ask you a follow-up question. Is there any female yes, singer on your album? Because the people used to segregate each other, and I don't kind of get it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a whole lot of songs, which I would want a female to be on. <clears throat> so I can sing in case you don't know. Oh wow! Yeah, <clears throat> if it right. Let's, can we test that with Talos or Kweko Koke? Stop We have to do now. something about uh, that. Can you just sing that part? Stop it, Faye. Talos or Kweko Koke. Stop it. Don't yeah, worry. Let's See, do I, that. Mm -mm. <laughs> as long as you know your lines, I'll do it. Well, I'll kill it for you. Don't I worry. We'll, mm -hmm. give, we'll but, give you a shot. We'll give you a shot. All right, yeah. so being yeah. from a Jagun, like, how would you say that has affected the person you are today? Because, you know, your roots sometimes actually tells on where on your story yeah. and your journey and the type of disciplines and um, principles you have in life. How would you say having such a humble background helped you? to be the man which you are and what's the deepest lesson you learned from being from such a community is the things i place value mm, on which is you know wake up every morning and breathe mm. i move and i'm, I'm not feeling pains mm. sure. i think that's enough for me yeah right. nice okay yeah. so i i want to know your biggest influence in nigeria like people that You've listened to you like this person has influenced my sound. Like it, the fuel is keeping the fire burning. Who would you say? I think my sound is me. Hey, just you. Yeah, that's right. And there's no so there's nobody if, if else there's, that there's if there's any feature now that you feel like man, if I can get this feature, this is gonna change my life in Nigeria. What would it be? Who would it be? Oh boy, Obio. OBL. Right. So you think an I don't a feature with OBL is uh -huh. going to change your life? Well, how? It's not really about the future. I think he's a leader. Mm. You know, someone who cares about people. Mm. If it, did you yeah, hear that? Will... Yeah, yeah, I okay, did. Okay, Loud okay. and clear. Just make it sure. Just make yeah. it sure. So I will definitely want to do something with him. All right. So what's also. stopping that? So if he's actually watching right now, because that would be his number. I can call yeah. him now. Just say, my my man has. I'm sure he does too. Look, me. <laughs> I'll, I'll kidnap him if he doesn't jump. On <laughs> so if, if he's watching right now, yeah, yeah, like what would you actually say to him to make him actually want to do a song with you? Oh boy, do quick. I will wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. I, want, I, I want to talk about the ills of the industry. Um, okay. We've had a lot of upcoming artists come. I, I feel like it's a very special and unique place to be in, in that upcoming space, because mm. it's nice to be, in my opinion, shall on the mind, because I can surprise you. I can have give you that mm. element of like, see, you don't know what's coming. Um, but your, your journey, um, do you think 
that you have a well, let's say a progressive plan like when do you when do you mm. anticipate that you will no longer be categorized as an upcoming artist uh that will be pretty soon based on the blueprint okay like, do you have a team do you have people that you're working with for that because i know that that doesn't it's not beans that answer i just asked it's not beans you need a lot of money investment a team people that are sleeping and, and breathing your matter and all of that do you have that type of resources I'm helping you sell your market. There might be somebody there just... Yeah. Um, yes, I do have a team. I'm not signed to any record label, mm -hmm. but I have my network. All right, so 2020 has been one year that has taught us about being strategic and being particular about the things True. we want to do. Mm. Like, there's procrastination is no longer the word for anybody. If, if you're in your right sense, you can't yeah. yeah, so if you know, you know that right now, as they think I'm with a duam, mm. you understand? So, um, what are some of the most strategic moves that you will be making in 2021 that you know that when I do this, when I make this first move, I make move two, you know, things will fall in place for move three. You know, what are those things that you're particular about this year me it's to explore and keep recording mm. right. you know because now the whole music thing has gone way past entertaining just Fans. africans mm. okay. here okay so i want to do something that people away from home could be able to you know Fans. relate yeah. to you guys, so that's just the whole thing for me. But then you don't even have people that you that influence your sound, quote unquote. So if there is no kind of like, because that that's too, I'm still on that on that mm. note that you know you don't usually people have either old the school team, people, yeah. people that they're yeah. you know that are kicking them. So what are you not afraid that you would not? How do how do I say it, that the inspiration could run out if that makes sense? Like I said, I don't like people feeding me their fears. Mm. True. I mean, she's about afraid. to feed you her fears mm. right now, right? So, <laughs> so you are content with yourself. Um, I will never run out of this. Mm. So. Nice. Okay. nice. I like that. I, I like Good it. I words. like your belief. But you know, before we actually let you go, because I know we're running out of time, and I know we have another special uh, guest uh, in the studio. So um, you know, we just like you. We like to put people on the spot, you know, and just mm. freestyle. And I know you're you're up to the task. You know, this is Ooh. Plus TV Africa on the table, and this is a fair and that's a fair as well. Yeah, we like you to kick a freestyle Please, real quick. Definitely. Ife. And Ife. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody has to give me a beat. Ah, uh, that won't go out, though. She's terrible at it. I'm terrible oh at it. So you probably I'm just. Not. Okay, try now. Go now. Not bad. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. Oh. Da. Da da da. Ife. Mm. How you doing today? I did, I did. Tell me what you wanna do right now. They on the green. Cause I got the money you need. Hey, where you did now? Hey. Plus, plenty love for you. Oh wow, that'll hey. be me with that one. Ife, what kind of man love a man? I don't understand you again, no. No, come As on, man. Like we got, we got my love. Now. I got the name switched. I thought well, Ife is a girl's name, right? Yeah, it is. We're both Ife. I'm also Ife. Yeah, but okay, you, you guys got me confused right there. No, it's even fine. But I was looking at her when I was saying Of course, it's okay. You can. No, no, I like the part that when you say, now nah, my dude today, you have plenty of money for me. Yes, those, uh, those parts are for me now. Plus, but when love, I say you love her today, then <laughs> it's for her now. The money part is mine. Yeah, I've okay, taken okay, my okay, own. You can split it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you need it. <laughs> money or love? Which one is important? I don't know which one you choose. If I gave you red, uh, red pill for love and blue pill for money, which one would you collect? I think red. Which is, I've forgotten. For love. For love. Oh, that's nice. Okay, all right. Where would you go on life? Eh? Money all the way. If I hear uh, love, give who, who love it? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, um, family, family. And then mm -hmm. does your family have you, um, does your family give you support for what you're doing right now? Um, I would say yes and I would say no. Okay. Yeah. At the initial stage, they were like, yeah. 
Mm. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta no stop paying level. bills. Mm. Yeah, but right now you're paying the bills with music, ain't you? Exactly, you're and you're proud, things. right? Exactly. Most anyway. important. So, what's your word to all the parents out there that are not supportive of their of their kids being in the scrap? You know, please observe your children, observe your kids. Why they were, why they are little, mm. you need to catch them young. Right. Well, I mean, you clearly seem like a man that's very um, content in yourself. You know who you are and what your sound is, and you're hungry for the passion and stuff. And I know people like that. It's one of the things that successful, successful mm. people have. So okay, I'm wishing you the best with everything that you do. Thanks.